Once you have all your wires ready, we're going to go and start soldering them to the LED matrices. So, easiest way to do that, just clip your matrix in place or hold it with something. And then we're going to solder wire here, 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 and all the way down to here. And then we're all, so that's eight wires, and then we're going to solder another eight wires on this side. So just take your wire, your soldering iron, your sponge, work the soldering iron, and then just touch the wire to where you want it to go, and then touch that with a soldering iron. And just like that, that wire has been soldered. So we have something that looks like this. There you go. Uh, doesn't want to zoom. There we go. So you want all of your joints to kind of look like that. So do that to this matrix and then do it to the other three that you have. So that's one matrix done. Now I have three more to do. So once all these LED matrices have been uh, wired up, well, the wires are connected to them, we're going to go ahead and paint the backside of each one of these LEDs. So in order to do that, you'll need some acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and a sheet of paper to cover up your work surface. So take your paint, squirt it into a bottle cap or something like that, and dip your paintbrush in it, and just go ahead and paint the backside of these LEDs. So there's two LEDs painted. Go ahead and paint the rest of these and don't worry if you get any paint on you know, the front side of the LEDs because it comes off with rubbing alcohol. So yeah, or you could scratch it off after it's dry. Um, a word of caution, uh, this stuff does kind of stain clothes so yeah, just watch out for that. So I'm going to go ahead and paint all of these LED matrices. So we're going to start by first mounting all the parts into the matrix driver boards. So for this part you'll need your boards, you'll need four MAX7219 chips, you'll need four uh, 10 microfarad capacitors, you'll need four 27k ohm resistors, and you'll need four point one microfarad capacitors. So we're going to start with the MAX7219 chips. So they go like this. So if you can see on the board, uh, right now we have it facing upright, the text reading from right to left. So we take the chip and with the notch facing to the left, we're going to go ahead and place the chip right into the PCB. So like that. So so just like that. And then what I like to do is just bend one of these pins up so that the chip doesn't fall out of place. And just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and mount the 27k ohm resistor. So bend it into a sort of U shape like this. And then just place it right here in the R set spot. So just like that, and then bend the leads up so it doesn't fall out of place. Now we're going to go ahead and mount the uh, 10 microfarad capacitor, and that one goes here. So the longer lead is the plus on the capacitor, and the shorter lead is the minus. You could also see a minus sign uh, printed on the capacitor. So we're going to go ahead and put the long lead into the plus and short lead in the minus, like so. 
So we have long lead, short lead. Go ahead and place it down and then bend the leads up again. Or you could bend the capacitor over like that and solder it that way too. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then take your 0.1 microfarad capacitor and just put it right there. So this uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitor is not polarized, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. You could put it like this, or you could put it like that. It doesn't matter, as long as you put it in the spot. Again, fit it, bend the leads up, and there's one done. So I'm going to go ahead and place the components into these other three PCBs, and then we're going to go ahead and solder the components into place. Oh, uh, a little side note, um, sometimes it's a little tough to fit these chips into the boards. So, see the beads are a little bit uh, bent out of shape in order to fit perfectly like that. So what I like to do is just take the chip, flip it over, and hold it gently by the edges here. And just kind of bend all these pins in a little bit. So, just like that. So you can see I bent this row, but this row is still facing uh, this way. So I'm going to go ahead and bend that one too. All right, and then again we're going to go ahead and place that into the PCB and it should fit perfectly if you didn't overbend it like I did. So I went ahead and mounted the PCB into this jig here, and I'm going to go ahead and solder all the components into place. So I'm sorry that it's a little blurry, but I can't really focus the camera properly. Anyways, uh, to solder these components, just take your soldering iron, take your solder, heat up uh, the joint here, and then apply some solder. So, kind of like that. So you want to end up with some the joints that kind of look like this. Try not to heat up the pads too long or you can burn them out or uh, or you could lift them off the PCB because uh, these uh, copper traces are held on with some glue and if you heat them up for too long that glue will stop working and they will come off the pad and then you'll have to get another one of these matrix boards. So yeah, try not to do that. Also, um, if you look at the board carefully, you could see little si silver dots here. Uh, let me see here. There we go. These little silver dots. Uh, try not to connect that dot to that pad. So don't have solder connecting this uh, little dot to this pad here. Or else the whole thing won't work. So yeah, just watch out for that. So I'm going to go ahead and solder all these components. I'm going to solder the components on these matrix boards too. So yeah. So now that all these components have been soldered, we're going to go ahead and trim the leads off of the capacitors and the resistor here. So in order to do that, grab your wire cutters here and just trim these off. Try to trim them like so. Don't trim them any shorter than that. I'm talking about the resistor here. Don't try to trim it any shorter than that because there's uh, some risk that you might damage the pads on the PCB. So yeah. Also, I would suggest you wear some eye protection because if you if these get into your eye, it doesn't feel too good. So just a little warning there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim all these leads.